Hey folks, BQ here. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to hit the play button here on the channel. We're talking Global Force Wrestling just like we do each and every day. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. We got podcasts, we got vlogs, interviews, you name it. If you're a Global Force Wrestling fan, this is the place to be for positive talk. If you're already a subscriber, please hit the thumbs up and you'll be on my good list. I'll love you long time. So I recorded a completely different audio for this. I didn't want to talk about the Rosemary Sexy Star situation ever again. Rosemary's even said that much. She released two statements and said it's time for everybody to move on. There's lots of positive going on, lots of good things. So everybody move on. I was prepared to move on, not forget it, but move on. So I see the tweet. Um, uh, Jimmy on Twitter said, hey, did you see Ryan Satin's tweet? Now, I don't pay too much attention to Ryan Satin. Some people are afraid of the dark. Some people are afraid of tight spaces. Some people are afraid of spiders. I have a phobia of spaghetti arms, so that's why I don't follow Ryan Satin too closely. But he was the one that retweeted it, and then I went to the Impact Twitter, and I saw that they had a video package alluding to the fact that this Thursday on Impact, they were going to talk about the Rosemary and Sexy Star in incident. It has JB, Jeff Jarrett, Karen all talking, and it looks like they're going to you know, um, use that controversy and create a storyline. So I'm sitting here. I'm on, I'm on the ledge ready to jump. I'm freaking out, saying this is the dumbest PR thing they can do because they've re received a lot of sympathy, a, a lot of support, you know, mainly Rosemary, of course, from the wrestling community the last week or so. If they were to turn this into a storyline, it would be like the dumbest thing they could possibly do. So I'm sitting here freaking out. So I made a whole video, a whole upload where I'm just talking about it and I'm, I'm scared to death. I'm, I'm damn near in tears talking to you people. So Mike, jo Mike Johnson, PWI, releases an uh, article after this. And um, PWI, I tend to believe 99% of what they put out. They're usually fairly accurate. They're not you know, like the other dirt sheets like Top Rope Press and Sports Kita and all that bullshit. So I tend to believe Mike Johnson. He, he, um, he, he has an article on his site where several people from Global Force Wrestling reached out to him and assured him that, yes, this Thursday on in Impact, the video package is going to come out. I guess they're going to address the situation. They're going to, you know, they're going to point it out. So they are going to bring it to light a little bit. But I think what I had initially um, thought was hopefully the case was that they just pieced together certain audio clips to make it sound like something it wasn't. And for an example, that's a, that's something that reality shows do. I've made it no secret that I'm a fan of the Bachelor Bachelorette franchise. In the last season of The Bachelorette, Ke Kenny King, former TNA talent, current ROH talent, was on it. And for weeks, it was showing this clip of him bleeding from like the eyebrow or the eye or something like that. And he had this guy named Lee that he was beefing with all season. So it came across like 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 Kenny King got into a fight and got his ass kicked and it had and it showed this clip for weeks and what happened was they had a competition they were dressed like Vikings and he got his eye cut on a shield by accident and that's all it was it really wasn't that big of a deal but that's just the way that reality shows you know put together cliffhangers so I was hoping that's kind of what it was so apparently they are gonna address it this Thursday on Impact. I hope they do it in a professional manager because, manner because they have a working relationship with AAA. And um, Mike Johnson had reported that he was told by a couple people that it's just, you know, they're only bringing it up because it was a big talking point, but it is not part of a storyline. It is not leading to a match between Rosemary and Sexy Star, and it's not building towards anything regarding that angle. So... Hopefully we're breathing a collective sigh of relief. I was no joke, absolutely freaking out about this. And it turns out, you know, again, you guys can take it with a grain of salt if you wish. But uh, I tend to believe Mike Johnson more times than I don't. And you got to remember, this is all taped. These are all taped episodes. So this video package is just going to be something between matches. And they got everything taped all the way up to Bound for Glory. So it's not like... Uh, they can just magically create a storyline out of this. So that's something that we got to remember. So uh, feel free in the comments to leave any thoughts on this, my party people. Um, I, I'm really hoping that this, this report that came out is the truth. 
<laughs> and we can uh, we can move on. If they feel the need to address it, I just hope that it's done in a professional manager. Ma- I keep saying manager in a professional manner, and not something to try to capitalize off what happened. You know, we really need to move on from it. We don't have to forget it, but we do need to move on from it. And GFW doesn't want to be seen like some kind of villains trying to capitalize off this, off a a real injury and a real situation that they got a lot of sympathy for. So um, that's all I got. Um, I was kind of hoping to chill this weekend, not, not do a whole lot here on the account, but I saw this and I really felt inclined to talk about it. And, um, Hopefully that's the truth. Hopefully you're, you know, I I can't give you a hundred percent conviction on that, but hopefully this is the truth that it is not a storyline that they're just going to talk about it and we can all move on from it. Thanks for listening guys. Again, this is the King of the Mountain podcast, the number one channel for the global force wrestling fan, the quickest growing channel. And uh, please hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to Bound for Glory. I'm trying to line up some really good interviews by BFG. So hit that subscribe button and we're going to get there. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.